Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Serenity Soaps by Aki. My name is Aki and today I'll be showing you how to make these really cute snowflake peppermint bars. The full recipe is in the description box below, so let's get suited up and get started. First I'll be starting off with my lye water only use distilled water. The reason is because regular tap water or spring water, drinking water and stuff, they contain minerals that could possibly have a bad reaction when you add the lye. So it's just safer to use distilled water. Also remember to pour the lye into the water, never the other way around. If you pour the water into the lye, well, it'll bubble up, very bad fumes will go into the air, and the bubbling up could possibly splatter on you, and then you'll have really bad burns, and we don't want that. I also suggest that you measure your lye separately in a separate container so that well, just to ensure that you get the right measurement because you really, you don't want to put, accidentally put too much lye into the water because then your whole recipe will be lye heavy. Now I'm going to pour the lye into my water and mix it really well. Keep stirring until you don't feel any more grains at the bottom of the container. I also prefer to use a container that I can put a lid on because exposed lye water tends to crystallize on top after a while and well, they call it lye lint. I don't like to deal with it because then I have to pull out my strainer. And yeah, just I just like to put a top on it while I wait for it to cool. And that just makes my whole process so much more smoother. While we're waiting, next we're going to measure out our oils. Our first ingredient is canola oil. And you've probably been wondering, what in the world is a canola? <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you. The canola plant is in the brassica family other plants that are in the brassica family include broccoli, mustard greens, collard greens, <laughs> things like that. Now canola is actually very beneficial to your skin, especially when it's used in soap. Canola oil contains vitamin E an antioxidant that will help protect your skin from free radicals and it also contains omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids which help to combat premature aging and soothe dry irritated skin. Our next ingredient is sunflower oil and olive oil. They're mixed together at a 50-50% ratio. Now, sunflower oil moisturizes your skin and ensures your skin isn't being stripped of its natural oils. And olive oil is just overall great oil to use. It creates a gentle cleansing lather suitable for all skin types. And the final oil is coconut oil. Coconut oil creates a protective moisturizing shield on the skin. Coconut oil is full of antioxidants and is composed of healthy saturated fats and vitamins like vitamin E, amino acids, lauric acid, 
and cap this word acid <laughs> We are going to be working with peppermint essential oil. Now with essential oils, you have to be aware that each essential oil has a different usage rate. And I highly recommend that you get a pocket scale that could read as low as 0.01 gram. Now with peppermint essential oil, it says the highest I could use is 2.5% of the weight of my oils and for this recipe I have exactly 453 grams of oil so you times that by 2.5 percent and that'll give you 11.32 grams I had just about used up all of my peppermint essential oil so I kind of figured that I might be a little bit below 11.32 grams which is fine because the 11.32 is just the highest I could use in the batch but you know being just below it a bit it's, it's okay it won't um, mess up anything. <laughs> Now I'll be adding my sodium lactate at a rate of one teaspoon per pound of oils. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I guess we're not doing that. <laughs> she said, hold up, wait a minute, we not ready. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be pouring off a little bit of my oils to um, mix in the red part for the soap. I will be using red iron oxide from Mad Micas. Okay, now we're going to use the sodium lactate at a rate of one teaspoon per pound of oils and I have exactly one pound of oils. Sodium lactate is a hardener like it I always like to use it whenever I'm using silicone molds it just helps it release from the mold better. Then I'll be adding my favorite ingredients, the kale and clay and the colloidal oatmeal. And now we're going to blend all this together. Just make sure everything is evenly dispersed. What I'm doing here is tapping all the air bubbles out of the shaft because you don't want to incorporate a bunch of air bubbles when you start to blend. Now it's time to add our lye water and see how nice and clear it looks because I had the top on it. <laughs> yeah, we just pour it straight into here and then I'm going to blend it to a very light trace. You know what, not even a trace, just up to emulsification. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I'll be just adding in my peppermint essential oil and I like to hand stir in my essential oils or fragrance oils because you never know how it's going to react in the batter. It's just safer to hand stir it in just to see what it's going to do. And if you see that it's not accelerating or anything, then I think it was, it's, it's good to use the stick blender if you like. I poured off a small portion of the batter so that I can color that part red. And once I color it red, I'm going to stick blend both portions because I want them, this is the part where I want them to be kind of thick because I'm looking for a nice swirly marbly effect and when you have a nice thick batter the effect can be pulled off like perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> My bonnet had to make an appearance. <laughs> Don't mind her. Now that they're both at the consistency that I want them, I just pour the red directly into the white. Now we're going to be using these really cute snowflake molds. I got these on Amazon. I'll have a link to where I got them in the description box below. And then we're just going to gently pour into each mold in a circular motion because you know you want the marble effect. And after we're done Filling the molds, we're just going to let this sit for 24 hours. It is currently the next day and it's time to unmold them and see how they turned out. They were still kind of soft and I could have let them sit in the molds for a couple of more hours, but I think they turned out really nice. They still looked a bit plain to me so I decided to zhuzh it up a bit. <laughs> so I got um, this little the, the, the fan paintbrush thingy <laughs> and some shimmery eco glitter and I just wanted to highlight a few parts not the whole thing but you know just to have a pop of shine in places and that's it <laughs> if you enjoyed the video Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell while you're at it so you can be notified of any new videos I post. Thanks for watching!